Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cities Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we will be exploring the new Financial Districts DLC and all that it has to offer. It is a pretty decent DLC that lands somewhere between a content creator pack and one of the smaller DLCs like Concerts. It offers enough new buildings and content to warrant your consideration if you play on console or if you play on PC with not a lot of mods and we'll go ahead and dive into why I think that is the case here in a minute. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing we are going to talk about and one of the main reasons why I think that this DLC is actually pretty valuable. I mean, it, it definitely offers quite a bit and that is the district style. The district style is pretty legit. So if you come down here to districts and areas, you can go all the way down to our commercial specialization now, or all the way down to our office specialization. And you now have this financial office buildings. And so what we're gonna do, we are actually going to come in here and we're going to etch out a little piece of our business district down here. And we are gonna redo this with the new DLC. And I think it actually comes out pretty fun. I actually really like a lot of the assets that come with this. And so one of the reasons I think with consoles, um, there's, you don't have access to custom assets. And so on console, anytime that you get any large drops of new buildings, I think it is really worth it. So now that we have that, what we can do is we are going to come through here and we're actually going to delete all of the office buildings in here. And so what I would really like to do with this area is to actually carve out a space in here so that we can do a plaza and I can show you guys the new building. And so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this as well. And then we'll start plopping down some of our buildings and looking at a lot of the new assets. All right. So I went ahead and got rid of all those buildings and I designated our district for financial office buildings. And this is really one of the, the main reasons why I think this DLC is valuable is you get about 75 to 80 of these buildings. And these are fantastic. There's really only a couple DLCs that come with these, these district styles and you can really use them in a lot of different ways. Like you can do micro districting by doing small little districts in here and just doing like small financial areas or you can do something big here. So like I removed this whole section, I ended up doing all offices up here and then we're gonna end up putting in our stock market right here with a couple more offices. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, the new, all of our new tabs. So if we come down here to the police department and banks, we now have this banks tab. And so these are all your little small little branch banks as well as any larger banks. And all of these actually do serve a function. They send out a truck to all of your local businesses to pick up cash. And it's kind of cool. They're little armored trucks. Another thing that we've unlocked, if we go down to unique buildings, we now have this uh, blue, green, and yellow tab for financial buildings. And these are all of the unique buildings that are tied to our stock exchange. So what we're going to do is go ahead and grab our stock exchange. And we want to place this like right in the middle of this. So I want to go like probably right, right about there. I think that's good. So that actually looks pretty good. It does look like this curve is a little off from that one, but it's not the end of the world. What I'm really hoping to do here is a really grand plaza and then actually have some of our financial district buildings kind of wrapped around it. And I think it's really going to provide a cool look in here. And so what I would like to do is actually go in here and we're going to kind of intermingle this with a couple DLCs. So we're actually going to use a pedestrian road. And we are going to grab this, probably the blue stone one. I, I really like those ones. So we'll grab this. And I really want this to probably go from right about here. So we'll say one unit out. And we want it to be kind of parallel with that road as best we can. And then what we're going to do is actually do the same thing over here. So we want to be about the same distance. All right, there we go. And so this is really going to help us to create a, a really walkable area, but also a grand entrance in here. And so what I want to do is go into our landscaping tab. We're actually going to utilize the shift terrain tool and we are going to go down a little bit. We'll go out like right there. But what I want to do is actually create a pond in here. So I'm going to right click right there and then bring this out. Probably go like right about there. And so now I'll go into the water structures and we are going to use one of the water structures that I've used in the past. Probably this old stone key decorated. I really like this one. One of the main reasons I like this key though is because it does a little bit sharper of edges a little bit sharper turns than standard keys. With keys, a lot of times they do those really kind of pronounced curves and I, I don't always like them. So we'll come up over here and we will connect it up right there. And then we will go ahead and do the same thing on this side, go like that. Let's go ahead and bring this out just a little bit. We don't need to get crazy with it. Probably just like right about there. And then let's go ahead and control H on that other key. And then let's connect that up now. So we will grab this, go ahead and connect that up. And let's go ahead and make sure that that is level in there. Yeah, you know what? It actually does look pretty good. 
What I do want to make sure though is that all of this is the same height. So I'm actually going to grab all of these nodes and then we will control H up here. It's only going to shift it a little bit, but it's really going to go a long ways in helping out uh, the water to stay in here. So what we're going to do is go down to water structures now, and this is a part of the extra landscaping tools mod. And we will go ahead and pause. Always better to do this when it's paused. And then we will drop this down in there and then we can go ahead and hit play. And if you do this right, a lot of times you don't end up getting flooding. It really depends though. Sometimes you still get flooding even if you do it right. But now that we have that, let's go ahead and start working on some of our other buildings. So I want to, I want to go in to find it. And one of the cool things with these build, these buildings that I really like is that they are a variation of a wall to wall building. And so we now have multiple wall to walls. We have the modern city center, we have the plazas and promenades, and now we have the financial districts. And so it really helps you to capture a cool look with your downtowns. So some of these are corners, like you can kind of see this one right here. So if we go ahead and place that right there, and then let's go ahead and shift this over just a little bit. I really want to center it on that corner as best I can. But then let's go ahead and place this one right next to it this way. And then we can go ahead and line this up because I really want those, those facades to match up. So we'll go ahead and go like that. And then let's go ahead and do the big one in the back. So we will grab this, go like that. And then let's go ahead and turn this over just like this. And then we're going to line this up. And what we're going to do is create a little road to go in. And this is just a really easy way to create some cool levels in here and just some, some great looks. So let's go ahead and go like that. And then let's um, do a small row of buildings off this front side. So I'm thinking this one right here. These ones match up as well. They're not exactly the same, but they still do kind of match up. So you can kind of see that those matched up a little bit. They're not perfect, but it's definitely, a. I mean, it's realistic, you know, it's, in life, it's not always going to be perfect. You have facades. Sometimes it's just a wall. So we'll grab this now. Let's go ahead and bring this in. And it actually looks like we have room for a little bit of a walkway. It does. So if we go ahead and bring this over now, what we can do is do a little bit of a plaza coming in here. So let's go ahead and bring that down, line that up. We can bring this back and then let's grab our pedestrian road now. We want to come up just a little bit and then let's go ahead and come down here. We'll go like that and then make this into a little bit bigger of a plaza since we have some benches and stuff right there. It can really provide some cool looks in there. And so now let's go in here and let's change up our look a little bit. So if we go over to this building, and then we come up over here. You see those facades matched up again. Great. You can kind of tell these buildings are very similar in a lot of ways. These bottoms actually look almost identical, but they're just a little bit different. And so let's come over here and let's place this medium sized one. Go ahead and place that right there. And let's uh, make sure that this lines up appropriately. Yeah, there we go. It does have a wall on this side, but it's not the end of the world. The back looks pretty good. Looks like there's uh, maybe a parking garage underneath. I actually like that look. I think it looks good. And so we now have a little opportunity for a plaza back there. We got a couple buildings in here. We still have quite a bit of room for us to decorate that up. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Just throw in some buildings real quick. Probably some room for a, a little bit, pl a little plaza. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so I went ahead and did two different sets on this build out. So I ended up doing the one that I did before with this kind of colonial... Um, very neoclassical style kind of architecture on the front. But then I did this other one with brick facades in the front. And I actually really like these. And one of the cool things with these is as these buildings will upgrade organically, you end up just going to the taller buildings and it keeps the facade in the front. So let's go ahead and jump into what this stock exchange is. And so I got to be honest, when I first started playing this, I kind of had a chuckle. It's a little bit of, it's a game within a game. Um, and it is driven by a RNG, which is random number generators. I initially was thinking that it would be tied to your economy. And I was like, oh man, this is kind of cool. You know, like you'd be almost able to do, or you'd be able to do insider trading. Like, you know, I could buy a bunch of shares of farming and then go and expand my farming industry. And I was like, oh man, you know, that's kind of funny. But then I realized that it's really just about going in here and what you, all you really need to do is find some of these bigger ticket ones. So like, um, some, some of the ones that I invested in early is like this greasy gasoline, it's $18,000 a share or this forest industry, forestry industry, it's 4,000 a share. And so you're able to just invest all of your money really quickly. And so what I'll do is I'll literally just wait for a downturn. So you come up to basically any of these and just look for when it goes down. So like this one's pretty good. It could trend down though. Pretty much all of them are trending down except for our healthcare, but that still could go pretty far down. We're going to go ahead and buy some of these. We're just going to get crazy and we're going to buy a million dollars in shares. So 
For some reason, your max is only a thousand, so you just gotta kind of deal with that. You can only get a thousand shares of each, any investment at any time. But then once it goes up a little bit, you know, it's starting to go up. Well, we already got thirty-three thousand. We're gonna go ahead and sell that. So we already got thirty thousand out of that. So if we click on our front building to hit our first unlock, so go to level two. We just need to get fifty thousand, which is pretty easy. So then we'll come in here and we'll look for another one. We'll just get crazy and come down here and try to find one that's down. So like Chirpy Cruises is pretty far down. This looks like it could be trending down for quite a while though, but this is kind of an, an expensive stock though. So we really have a lot of upside here. So we could go crazy and just buy everything we have. Just go ahead and get 796 shares and just hope that this turns the other way. And so you can already kind of see we are trending up on this. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that we just made 50,000 off of that and so now you can already see we have hit level two already so we can hit un upgrade and it upgrades the building and you get all these unlocks now we get the bronze cow the bronze panda and the small banks and so the banks are a lot like the postal service to where you need to come down here into our police police department and bank stem and we will grab that small bank and I'm going to go ahead and just scatter these all around the city we really want to have even coverage with this so that everybody can have access to their little local branch. All right, and so I pretty much scattered them all the way around. You can kind of see we still do have like an efficiency bonus on these. I didn't get crazy and place them everywhere. So like sections over here, I just did one for this whole section. We do still unlock the larger ones as well, which do cover more ground. So like for our big downtown areas, we're gonna end up placing the bigger buildings. But this is pretty good so far. It does look like we have a little bit of a gap over here. So we could place one right there. We could probably even place one over here somewhere and yeah, we'll place it like right there. And it just helps to provide a little bit of coverage. This may even boost your land value as well. It really wouldn't surprise me if it did. Um, similar to how the post office does. Whenever you have you know proximity to services like this, it tends to boost the land value within the game. Services really play a big factor into land value. And so now that we got that, let's go ahead and jump in and let's get this upgraded again. So basically what I'm going to do is uh, use that same strategy. I'm just going to come through here find something that's down like this just farming industry and go ahead and buy as much as I can and just keep doing that until we get upgraded to our next level all right so just a couple minutes later I have hit this $250,000 threshold so we can go ahead and hit upgrade again and we have gotten the large bank and the elevated plaza the plazas with this are actually really cool but it's really cool that this building just ends up getting bigger I really like that feature so now if we go into that unique buildings tab and we go over to our new financial building sector, we can see all these new plazas we got. So we'll probably end up placing like a couple of these down. We don't really need to get crazy with this. So I kind of like these plazas. I think they're cool. We're going to go ahead and place them on the corners like this. And then let's go ahead and look at our new elevated plaza. So I'm thinking maybe if we place this like right there, let's go ahead and place another one over there. We're just going to go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna copy it and place it like right here. I think, I mean, it's not a particularly eye-catching plaza. I think all the flowers and stuff are very interesting, but it does look good. I don't know if we'll end up keeping it on these sides, but I think for right now, it's a nice little touch. And then now what we'll do is go back to what we're doing. So our next unlock is 750,000. So we're just gonna go into manage investments and just get crazy here. Just try to find those low grounds like this one, you know, bouncing back up, go ahead and buy that and just ride this out until we hit our next unlock. All right, and just a couple minutes later, I have hit the next unlock, so we can go ahead and hit upgrade. And we have unlocked the underground garden plaza and the skyscraper bank. And so let's go ahead and get crazy and get rid of these two elevated plazas in here. And we, we are gonna go ahead and go into our unique buildings tab, and I wanna do a couple of these bigger ones. So if we place that right there, let's go ahead and grab this. What we're gonna do is shift this back if we can. So we'll grab this, go ahead and go like right there. And I actually think maybe even the opposite way around. And then let's go ahead and copy that. And we're going to place this on this side as well. It looks like we're a little bit tighter on this side, but I think we can still get it in there. So now we have two underground plazas under here. And it's actually kind of cool. I think there's like a whole garden and stuff under there. Though you can't really see too much other than just like a little walking area. I think the top looks nice though with these little uh, tiles and everything. I think this is a fantastic looking plaza. And so now all we need to do is go ahead and place down some of our banks and then hit that last unlock. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this large bank and we're going to place a few of these down more in high dense areas. So we're going to come down here. We'll place one right there. Let's come all the way over here and we're just going to upgrade some of these branches. And so what this does is obviously you can see that circle. It just covers a bigger area. Same with the skyscraper bank. It just covers more of an area. So if we come in here, we can 
even get crazy and just delete one of these buildings since this is our downtown. We'll go like right there and let's check that out too. So let's, you know what, it actually looks pretty good. It's a fairly large skyscraper. It's not super tall, but it does cover a lot of area and that's really what we're trying to go for here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just branch off a few of these around the city to get us fully covered. But we have some pretty decent coverage now. And so most of our city is pretty decently covered. It does look like we still have some lapses, but not too much. Um, similar to the post office, it's just kind of tough to get perfect coverage. You're also, just because it's not green doesn't mean that it's not going to be serviced. It just means that it's not going to get the land value bonus from being near it. So now what I need to do to hit the next unlock is get 1.5 million in investments. And so back to it again, playing a little game, just trying to buy at the low, sell at the high. All right, so after a little bit of time, I finally hit that 1.5 million requirement. And so let's go ahead and hit upgrade. And so we have unlocked the International Trade Building and we have hit level five. And so we now have a tax bonus of 6%. And I believe that only qualifies for, for the office area, but it looks like, so the office buildings, you get a plus 5% bonus. And so I'm guessing maybe this is for the whole city. So you get a 6% tax bonus, which is really helpful in making more money, especially as your city gets bigger. You can kind of see we're definitely fluctuating between positive and negative. Like it says we're negative 70 right now, but... I think we're kind of going through a death wave at this point, but it says, congratulations, you have reached the maximum level to total investment gains of $2 million, which is great. And so we could continue to invest in here and make money all we want, or we could just leave it at that. I think the building looks really cool. It has these little simoleon uh, coins around them. And let's go ahead and check out our new building. So if we come in here and we have the international trade building now, and so we could, let's go ahead and jump out of this view. And let's see how big, so it'd be, I'm thinking we'll put this one right near the front if we can. And it looks like we even have some little curbs, some planters. Let's go ahead and check out the back. So it looks like we got some more planters, but that actually fits right there. And it looks like it fits in the front as well. It does kind of encroach on that sidewalk a little bit, but this is a big building. And I actually think this looks really good. Um, this would definitely blend in with a lot of the buildings in this area as well. You can kind of see it's all came in now. Um, you definitely have a lot of variation. So you have a lot of like one by ones or one by twos, some really small buildings. They all have the, the general same facade, but then you can kind of see how some of them upgrade over time and then they turn into that bigger building like this one right here. But I overall, I think this is a really nice look. So what I want to do now is probably just place down a few more skyscrapers and then I'm going to go ahead and decorate up this middle section. I'm going to do some concrete, probably a little plaza right here. A little walking plaza in here in between the buildings and then just je decorate up the rest of this and make it look good and so i'm going to go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse and i hope you guys enjoy i'll catch you guys on the other side
All right, so here it is. And so I ended up doing these planters with some small little bushes going around this whole section with some benches. I did some of our pergolas with some more benches and it looks like I have a rogue bench right there. Um, but then over here I did a small plaza with a couple little square planters. I wanted to go with something angular, but also like a pattern um, since this uh, fountain is kind of angular. It made, made me think of that like geometrically square and stuff like that. I also put in these small square little planters for the lights. I ended up doing um, light bollards going all the way around. So there's bollards basically covering all of our open plaza areas, but they also have lights in them as well. And so in order to clean up this plaza, I ended up doing some more of those same planters because I wanted to follow a pattern there. But then I did a little cafe area with, with a little glass awning. Uh, maybe there's like a restaurant within this building and this would be where they sit. But then I did some food trucks as well. Um, I copied this side. I really wanted to get some symmetry going on here. And I really liked the purple purple trees. I felt like they really matched in well. But then over here, I did that square um, statue with a, just a couple small planters. There really wasn't a lot of space. I did some more of those bollards, though. And then we I did end up, did end up doing jets in the middle. And I, overall, I think this looks really good. I do want to jump into night view, though, and show you guys um, what this looks like. It looks really cool. And so let's go ahead and check it out. Um, I ended up doing some lights within our fountain. I did lights going all the way around and I think this looks really good. You know, I, I like the bollards going around the outside. I think it really helps to clean up this whole area. We definitely haven't really focused on lights a lot in this city. Um, there are lights in certain sections. Like I know our uh, bridge over here is all colorful, but overall we, we generally don't have a lot of lights in here. And so one thing that's kind of funny about these new plazas, and I don't know if you've caught it, but how do people get to the under section? Originally I was thinking it was this, but this is like a little kiosk. Um, this isn't stairs. And so this would be where you would go and like maybe purchase tickets. Like it says a little I, so it's like an informa information booth, but there's no stairs or anything. There's no way to actually get down to this underground plaza. It's kind of funny. I don't, they could have even done like a little piece of stairs over here. I don't know if maybe it's an oversight or they didn't catch it, but um, I was looking at, it, I was like, how do, where did they go? Like where, how do people get down there? So maybe there's like a tunnel network from this building that leads down there or something like that. But either way, I think it's a really cool plaza. I like the look of them. Um, go ahead and let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I overall think that this DLC is definitely good if you are on console or PC. If you're not, um, it's just another DLC. I still think it's really good. It's definitely fun to have. Um, but is it absolutely necessary? Maybe not. It really depends on whether you're, you know, super excited about doing financial districts or not. I definitely was. Um, I think it's an important aspect of cities, um, especially large cities. You do tend to have financial districts. And so go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.